Let's oh, stay with reading for the collective. Hope that you are feeling amazing. Um, loved, strong, happy. Abundant. Appreciate all of your positive energy. What does the collective need to know what is going on? Nine of Pentacles. So, this is someone who is very, um, you know, doing well for themselves. They're independent. They are, um, they've worked hard. They've applied their skills. Um, I feel like this is you, um, but there's something about you being independent that is important or significant here. Uh, Venus and Virgo could be significant. Eight of Pentacles reverse, the moon, the star, which fell down, face down. The moon and the star. Something feels cosmic. But someone's trying to hide something. Trying to block work. Or someone's doing something. They're hiding it. You're very independent. You're doing something on your own. Someone's trying to hide something. Or, or they're confused about you. Your wish is coming true. Or you being born to shine. Or some, something spiritually bright. Um, a wish come true. But the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Someone's trying to block someone from working or someone's doing something mean, hidden. So I did a reading. This came out in the morning. If this is the same thing, my last reading was about someone trying to hide. That they're trying to do something petty here or try to block work. You're already independent. It's almost like they want you just to focus on whatever this is that um, is sustaining you, you know, life doesn't change much you you don't uh break out of this into the next level you don't level up from this because you're comfortable i would say but someone does feel challenged by the fact that you're independent but i feel like someone's doing something here to block work or they're trying to do something hidden mean petty yeah, I feel like they want you to be stuck in your head. They don't want you to get these accolades. They don't want you to be seen. Um, Ace of Pentacles reverse in the subconscious. By doing this, I feel like whoever this is knows that they're blocking themselves. Deep down, they know they're blocking themselves. Eight of Swords in the recent past. I don't know, this could be them focused on trying to keep you stuck or they're trapped in a situation there could be something else that's going on here um but let's just start with this scenario i definitely need to clarify ace of cups reverse under the deck no love here trapped with no love six of wands reverse falling from grace maybe they're falling from grace knight of pentacles reverse what they want for you is what's happening for them. This is non-committal. This is irresponsible. This is slowing down. This is not dedicated. Uh, this could be blocking an offer, blocking dedication, blocking someone from being dedicated to you. Um, the intentions, expectations, three of pentacles. So I don't know if this group is planning on working together on something. Nine of pentacles reverse under the deck again to slow something down. Six of Cups reverse. They don't want this unconditional love. The problem is you're strong. You have a very strong spirit, strong willpower. Um, someone could be love bombing someone. Someone who feels empty or someone here is very disingenuous, either trying to block love or they feel empty. Not sure yet. Let's see. Near future, Queen of Pentacles, that's you in the upright. So you're taking care of your, your home or business or both. Um, very grounded. And um, that's a nightmare for someone. 
So it could potentially be even, um, you know, you're reassessing how you're spending your energy because you definitely don't want to be, you know, subconsciously acting as someone's pawn, you know, this could be you, you know, searching, searching about the actions you are or are not taking and whether or not you feel like there's a lot of projection or something from the past that might have happened that's blocking you from taking steps. I think you're always this queen of pent or you've been this queen of pentacles energy for a while. Um, so that could be, this could be about something else, but I feel like there, there's something about you, um, stepping up something, maybe adding something to your routine that, you know, that you, because I feel like this is already a lot, nine of pentacles, whatever you built here. And I think you've, you've got something going that that's steady. It's like you've turned the engine and the engine's running and you've enjoyed the results of your, your efforts, but now, you know, this could take a lot of energy. Maybe you just want to coast for a while, but maybe there's something here where there's somebody operating in the background where it's almost like you are, um, complacent and you, you taking this more, you know, this extra step, you know, this is taking, it's your strength, your mighty, your mighty willpower and, and, and breaking through something that maybe you've been procrastinating on or that um, needs more effort for you to get to the next step. And that's a nightmare for someone. Definitely. Um, every small action does create, you know, a whole action, you know. Every little step, if you're already thinking about it, maybe just... You know, whatever it is, you know, if you're, if you've got a business plan and, you know, you've got to, you know, fix the typos, then just work on the first paragraph. Just open up the first paragraph and just fix the typos and, you know, write it with a red pen or whatever pen you have. Even if it's not perfect, just get the first paragraph. Like that, that would be an example. And then just do the same thing the day after that. Don't hold yourself to the fire as far as like, you know, you've already got whatever this is you've got going, you know, just power through. But I, I bet that when you do the first paragraph, it's going to feel it's there's a breakthrough needed because there's this resistance here and it's happening in the subconscious. And that's what somebody wants. I feel like. Here we go again. Six of Wands reverse the. I mean, this they could be falling from grace, whoever this is, or they don't feel like they're getting the attention they deserve or something like that. But I also feel like, you know, there's someone here who wants to keep you stuck. Six of Wands reverse, like, you know, you could be doing something independently, but you know, it's your highest potential goes beyond this. Um, three of cups, there's a lot of people involved here. There's a group, maybe try to put pressure on you, even psychic pressure, um, or weigh you down, or you feeling weighed down because you've had to deal with these, this like sort of dysfunctional group already. Um, it's like, maybe you need, I don't know, like a spa day or something like that. Um. <laughs> Maybe you feel like that, but I feel like you've got, you're going to do something here. Um, yeah, Nine of Swords reverse in the environment. So um, I feel like these people are in a nightmare. I don't think that's you. Four of Cups reverse because you're getting out of some sort of like, there's you in like hermit mode doing something independently and you building something you know, in spite of something that went on in, in a social s situation in regards to work. But you now sort of coming out, you know, 
and re-exploring because it's like somebody wanted you to be ostracized. So you being, um, you know, you use the time that was supposed to be, I guess, torturous for you to build something and to do soul searching and to grow and evolve and you know, put more time into into yourself and build something here. So that wasn't what they expected, but now they, they, you know, they wanted it to be, now you're stuck there. Because it feels like maybe this Nine of Pentacles isn't necessarily part of your North Node, maybe it is. Um, but there's also something about you not being rejected and rejoining the world. So someone here is like in some sort of, an, some sort of nightmare in regards to you now, you know, you've got the engine running here. It's a smooth, it's smooth sound. It's, it's good. Uh, and, you know, maybe you powered through something here. It took a lot of energy. Plus you had people kind of projecting a lot of negativity at you while you did this. So you could feel like, you know... You want to coast for a little bit, but there's someone here, I feel like, in the background that is, like, counting on you coasting forever, I feel like. Four of Cups, Reverse. And kind of staying to yourself forever and not being seen and not shining, which is that's what the star energy is. That's what, that's what they're kind of but hoping that something stays hidden or maybe something in your subconscious where it's like you can't get to work, potentially. Eight of Cups reverse. Yes, yeah, someone wants you to feel stagnant, like you don't move on from this phase, you know, uh, where you just maybe feel like that's as far as you can go, but it, that's not the truth at all. Um, yeah, there's definitely a group here. Um, they feel like their sort of common cause, like their purpose, what gives them a thrill, what makes them feel like they're doing something somehow. It's like a common effort. It's all focused on, on you. They feel like they, um, they did something here. They, they achieved something by trying to ostracize you. And now, now, you know, they weren't expecting this Knight of Pentacles and now they feel like they're in a nightmare because what can they do now? I feel like there's people here waiting to see if you're going to make a move or not. These people could have attacked you in the past. Um, there could be something going on in the subconscious. Um, in regards to that, you know, you could be gearing up because you know an attack is coming. Uh, the minute you, you know, this they can't do anything about. But when it comes to the star energy you know, these people are going to have some very serious ruffled feathers. Yeah, they're, they're some sort of sneaking, lying, or cheating. They could try to steal something from you. Uh, there could be something that you've reworked while you're doing this. So you're a multitasker. I do feel like um, it's a matter of keeping this running and whatever else this is that you're sort of bossing up on. Um, and you know that they're in the background with the Seven of Swords and this moon. So, so you, you know that, and, um, I think what's great about it is that, um, I don't know if there's an old character from television that was called Evil Knievel, that, um, was sort of like a daredevil. Um, so that could be like an interesting approach. Um, but he was like a guy who would do tricks on a motorcycle. <laughs> um, and wear like, you know, leather suits and stuff. Um, but anyway, you know, the challenge, you know, the, the fun edgy part is, a, is turning it into, uh, fuel. Which I think you you have you 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 have it already, but I feel like there's something about you.
breaking through while you've got all of this, you know, counter activity, I guess I would call it like, if this was a boxing match, um, I mean, you, this is like you building a business during a boxing match where like 12 people are coming for you. <laughs> Maybe Evil Knievel is not a good example. Maybe um, Bruce Lee, when Bruce Lee's like fighting, you know, a million opponents all at once kind of thing. So I feel like that's what you already did with this Knight of Pentacles, but I feel like this Queen of Pentacles now, um, I'm just thinking about all these characters. It's like, you know, turning on your Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it's like that, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, it's Mars energy. I feel like it's Mars energy. Um, even if it is just to, you know, fix typos. <laughs> and the reason being is because there's so much adversity. There's so much projection. There's a lot of projection. Hatred, jealousy, competition, underhanded behavior, uh, groups gathering together um, who have a lot at, at stake, or they feel like they do, um, doing sneaky stuff in the background. So you know that it could very well be... Um, energetically, you know, who knows what move they're, they're going to make. Um, but you know, I actually don't know chess very well, but it's kind of like when you make this move, there's going to be a counter move and it's going to involve multiple people. And maybe it's just energetic. Maybe it's just you sort of feeling the wrath and anger, or maybe, you know, Seven of Swords, you know they're doing something sneaky. Um, they don't want you to be seen, and they don't want you to go to this next level. Um, and it's like, now that you know, because there was this other person, this other sort of karmic feminine who's like been exposed here, and maybe this is part of the same group, but whoever it is, they're, I feel like there's a group of them and they're operating in a very clandestine way and it's putting a lot of pressure on you to stay stagnant. They don't want you to be seen. So the, the only thing you can do is punch through that energy. Now that you know it's not just your own fatigue, it's not just your own, you know, need to brainstorm, it's not just your own lack of time, you know, there's, you know what it is. And if there's something odd where there's some type of resistance, you know, like an invisible resistance. I feel it's coming through these people with this moon here. And I also feel like they're not sure what you're doing. So, you know, maybe everything I'm saying you've already done. And you could be feeling the pressure of them, you know, trying to figure it out. There's a lot of eyes on you. Um, there's also something about bad memories. So you could have bad memories with these people, but you have this wheel of fortune here. So it's kind of like another analogy would be you know, little kid in, you know, primary school or grammar school. And every day they go to school, there's like a group of like four or five kids that kick dirt and have done like terrible things. And you removed yourself. You went around maybe something like that and you made it through. You haven't seen these people, but you know, it's the same, same group. And now you've got to go to middle school and you know the same group's going to be on the same street. You've got to go the same way. 
um, and in order for you to get to this next middle school here or high school or college or whatever it is you want to call it um, they are going to be standing there or well, they're standing there now they're standing on the block ready to kick dirt if you walk down that street And you already went through a lot here. So, you know, the only way out is through. You gotta make a move. Um, not anti anticipating it's all gonna be amazing, but I'm saying the blockage is the bad memories with these people and knowing that they're so focused on you. So it's Mars energy, it's Putting, putting your book bag on your back, packing your lunch, put your shoes on, and go.